What is going on everybody? Today we're looking at some NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures and accessories. So first for figures, we have Evil Rex 1. So we did the normal Rex figure not too long ago. So now we have the evil version. So just where he's been corrupted by Shredder and is now evil. So box wise looks pretty cool. So it has Sewer Hero series. So I'm not sure if that's a new thing. I haven't heard anything about it. So it's like a new like line of stuff we're going to be getting. But I noticed nowhere on the box does it say Rex 1 or Evil Rex 1 whatever. So it's kind of weird for that. But I like the background with him squeezing Donnie's head then we of course have our like VHS box design there on the side and the pictures on the back with a little bit of story up there at the top with our evil Rex one designs so that's cool but if we open the box we have the picture there on the side and then our figure itself so again we've pretty much seen this all before gonna have similar accessories but like I said just in an all black color this time to be evil so black red and gray there so looks pretty cool for that and then we have the accessory set as well for the cartoon turtles so we didn't get the sewer layer because it was just way too expensive so we're hopefully going to be able to get one of like the third party versions and be able to use all these accessories but it looks pretty fun on the front of the box here pretty cute with the four baby turtles there all up on the mac robot and the tv and stuff back there that we will be getting in this pack and if we spin around we can see some of the accessories so we're going to get a picture that goes with rat king we get some stuff for the family room so we get this tv with a vcr of course the four baby turtles some pizza as usual then we get the big mac robot and then some extra accessories to go along with characters and there's a break down of all the accessories we're going to be getting in there as well so a lot of stuff to look at and we'll go through i'll try and like tell you what they're from episode wise and stuff but i'm excited to check these out so let me get them open out of the box and we'll take a look at them together so we're going to start off with Evil Rex, which Rex stands for Robot Enforcement Experiment. And it was a robot policeman created to relieve some of the burden on the New York City's police department. But with this specific one, the designs were stolen by Shredder so he could mass produce an army under his command. So giving us the Evil Rex, but the real Rex one got them to destroy themselves by playing an exercise video. And overall looks pretty cool. Of course, we have seen Rex one before and I'll show you that. And overall looks relatively exactly the same, like almost no difference in the body. Just just like a minor thing here or there but then mostly it's just all the colors so it's all this like dark gray to black with some red details on it so we get the red like glasses red rex name badge on the chest some little buttons there and then everywhere else it's either gray black or white and overall looks pretty cool and like i said designs pretty much exactly like rex one so just color is the only thing difference with this one and then we of course get the hat on his head since he's a policeman has the hat like i said the glasses and then we get his mouth which on this one does actually move so there is some movement in there so you can sort of get this jaw piece to move up and down and with it there is like a mouth under there so that's pretty cool on rex one it was just like at least i'm pretty sure always in one place but you could see his mouth so that's cool and then we get the little flaps on the chest that open up much like rex one with all the compartments and buttons and everything sort of in there for the programming so that is cool as well and then the rest like i said everything else looks just like the other rex one but for movements we get the head that'll twist around so we can twist all the way around and then look down that far and up that far so decent movements and as i already showed the jaw does move there so you can move it to wherever we get the shoulders that come up pretty close to 90 and rotate all the way around then we get a bicep twist and the single elbow joint that can bend up that far no twisting in this joint or anything though with the wrist that'll twist all the way around and hinge back and forth then we can go to the ab crunch so up in this section here he can crunch back and forth so barely any crunching but he does crunch and has a little twist around as well and then we go down to the hips so the hips can come up pretty close to, yeah, to 90 there and then out to the side so not far from doing the splits but definitely won't do the splits he has a bit of a thigh twist as well so his thigh can twist around then we get the single knee joint that bends back to 90 no rotation in this again and then we get the foot that flexes back and forth not very much obviously because of the big like cuff here but flexes back and forth a little and can twist side to side so pretty decent you know has decent range of movements especially for a big robot and the movements were all nice and smooth so right out of the box we didn't have to heat anything up or whatever as usual for the NECA figures so that was nice so it seems like we're starting to get more loosened figures already and not have to heat everything up but he comes with a number of accessories so we get some additional hands so we get some hands like with open splayed out fingers so you have those options we get the flat palm hands as well so almost like karate chop hands that you could use 
we get hands that, that are grip hands that can hold the gun. So he comes with guns much like Rex one. So we have those as option, which we'll probably use. And then he also gets an additional smaller grip hand to use with an additional accessory that he comes with that Rex one didn't. And that accessory is a megaphone. So we get a megaphone, which is pretty cool. So nice, awesome megaphone he can yell into. So we can switch that hand out and put this in it. So there's Evil Rex with the megaphone. Of course, he can't really get any close to his face at all. So don't really know how useful it is, but there he does come with the megaphone, which is pretty cool. But then he also comes with the guns, as I mentioned, just like Rex one had. So pretty much the exact same guns. Of course, we do have the little pegs on the side there that can go onto these like hip pieces. So the kind of like would be holsters, which you can peg them in there so they can store on his thighs or I guess it'd be more of his hips there. So you can store that, but let's go and put them in his hand. So we'll need to switch out the grips and put these in. So there he's got the guns in his hands and again, very much like Rex one had. So that looks pretty cool. But one thing that's also different with this is that he comes with some blast effects as well, or what they call muzzle blast. So we get a blue and a red one. So obviously we can just take these and stick them into the ends of the guns. So just like that, we can have it in there. So it's shooting out now and we can put each one in, but it's kind of weird to me that it would have a red and a blue. But I was like, what we can do is then bring in Rex one and we can put one of them in Rex one's gun so they can eat each have one so Rex can be shooting blue you know more of what I'd say a good color compared to the evil Rex shooting red so we can have them now facing off with the red and blue blast effects coming out of their guns so that is pretty cool to have them firing at each other now but there we have Rex one which as I said is the exact same figure so everything about it's going to be exactly the same just obviously the color they repainted to make it the evil version so very cool to have both of those there together facing off and like I said we can give them the different blast effects now so they can each be firing at each other or just put them both on the evil rex one whatever we want to do but very cool to have evil rex now to go with rex one and next we have the accessory set. So I just show some of the bigger stuff to set out here. So first we have the baby turtles, which I couldn't find exactly what they're from, like specifically, but I do know there was the season four, episode 13, Back to the Egg, in which Leonardo and Michelangelo eat a pizza with a serum on it that turns them into small children. So only those two turned into children. So Donatello and Raphael stayed normal size, but the other two shrunk. But I couldn't find any other episodes where they all got turned into babies or the turtle tots as people like to call them. But they're pretty fun. Of course, they're all going to be exactly the same. So with Michelangelo here, it looks pretty cool. Of course, those look like a shrunk down version when looks pretty cute with the big M on his belt. Of course, this happy little smiley face there with, the, of course, the orange headband and orange bands on his wrist and elbows and knee pads there. And overall, just looks pretty fun and cute. But moon wise on these, like I said, they're all gonna be the same. So the heads can twist all the way around and they can look down that far and up that far. So just a little bit of movement back and forth. We get these shoulders that can come up over 90 there and rotate around within there. And then we get the legs that move back and forth. So that the hips move back and forth and out to the side a little. And then we get the foot that does flex back and forth and twist side to side. Now I do have a lot of issues getting these to stand up. They are like back heavy. So they tend to like fall backwards a lot. So I have to kind of get them standing forward. But what's cool about these is that they do all come with their weapons as well. So for like Michelangelo there, we get the nunchucks. So I'll go and put these in the hands. So Michelangelo has his nunchucks. Donatello gets his bow staff. So there's Donnie with the staff. For Leonardo we get his two katanas there's Leonardo with the swords and finally Raphael has his two sides and there Raphael has the size so it's like if they couldn't look cute enough already with his being as small as they are giving them those little tiny weapons just makes them even cuter so that is amazing absolutely love having those but then next up we get Big Mac so we have this robot so Mac stands for mobile armored computerized combatant and this is from season 3 episode 12 attack of Big Mac and it's a robot from 400 years in the future that attacks Protects everything that causes violence. So it's a cool robot design here. I love how it's got like the big tail that comes up, would be like a laser. It's got the head with what almost looks like a camera or it could be laser and stuff and almost like a teeth design. All in white, so it is hard to see here, but it's got like a nice like tank tread on the bottom that comes up and it does have some movements on it. So we do get like movements in the back here. So like in this section, so it can flex up and down a little and move a little side to side. And then we do get the arms that move. So it'll have like shoulder joints that can move up and down and turn around. And there's also elbow joints, so the hands can move back and forth there. So that's on both sides. The head has some movements as well, not very much. It's kind of like on a ball joint. So it can move up and down a little and twist side to side. So, so you can get at different angles. And then this laser does move side to side as well. 
And what's cool with this, we get an additional little accessory, so it automatically came with it in the box, and I forgot I switched it out. But we have this extra little piece that we can remove and put like another little laser down inside. So it can have that like laser shooting out as well or whatever that is supposed to be sticking out of the top. So we have that as well, so that looks pretty cool. So getting just this nice robot there that we have that can live in our sewer. And we also have here the TV, so we have a nice old classic CRT TV that looks pretty cool with an old like dials and stuff. It's sitting on books because it's missing one of the legs so that's cool nice little details with a vcr on top so we get a vcr with nice big buttons on it and an antenna on top of that so for that vcr specifically we do get a vhs tape so we've got these multiple times before with turtle stuff so you'd put that inside there even so that's pretty cool that it can hold that but then this tv does come off so we can take the top off here and we actually get a bunch of little pictures that we can stick in for the tv frame so they can be watching a bunch of different shows now i've not looked at any of these yet so i don't know what all there is so we we obviously have Ace Duck, Bebop, and Rocksteady. One of the turtles disguises like a cowboy, it looks like. We have a big, like, T-Rex monster. We get a black and white wrestling, so that just looks fun. We have probably, like, a pizza monster, just based on Big Sword of Monster there. Oh, we get a video game, so, like, a night fighting in a video game. We get Vern in there from Channel 6 News, as well as April, which I think April would probably be the best to go in this. And we can just slide this down so there's a slot on the inside there and slide that down in. So now we can have April on TV and the turtles can be watching it and just put that right back on. So there we now have something on the TV, which is pretty cool. So it's awesome it came with all those pictures that the turtles could be watching different shows and everything. So that's a fun accessory. Then we just get a bunch of random stuff. So first we get a video game console. So we have video game console almost looks like an Atari or something with the joystick control. But this almost kind of reminds me of like I want to say the Super Nintendo or something is what it reminds me of. But has a little cartridge in here which does have a little bit of movement to it i thought it'd maybe slide out or something but it just has a little tiny movement in there so we can obviously set that in front of the tv and we get a bunch of random accessories that can go with other stuff so we have this picture of a cheese painting which looks pretty cool nice does look like a painting with a nice frame around it and this is from season three episode 38 the great boldini and this was in a museum that rat king was at and he saw it and liked the picture of course with it being a piece of cheese so we can give it to rat king here so we have rat king and we can give him the picture so belongs with him like i said we get some little accessories that go with other characters we get a pizza box so a pizza here of pizza with a groove on it so a nice pizza box and it opens up and we get a full-size pizza inside there so again just another fun accessory to give to the turtles we get a backpack so we have this backpack from season 4 episode 34 splinter vanishes in which splinter tells the turtle they must split up and go their own way so as the turtles are leaving the sewers each of them have this backpack on so we can bring in our turtles here and put it on them so it can fit on a turtle just like that. So there it is on Donatello. Went on pretty easy. You just got to get their hands back to get it around. And it's kind of cut out on the inside so it fits around their turtle shell. So we can have that backpack on there as well. And then we get a ray gun from season 4 episode 19. Leonardo lightens up. And it's a personality modifier created by Donnie. And used on Leo to make him a fun loving turtle. So we get this gun that again we can put in Donatello's hands. So there Donatello has the gun now. And then we also have a blowtorch that we could like give the Donatello I don't think that would fit in his hand it looks probably way too thick but we could give it to Donatello to be you know working in his lab or something or give it to really any character that would like work in a lab like Baxter Stockman or something but I, I think it's probably too big to fit in a hand yeah I can't get it to fit in there but it could go for Donatello as well we also get the star of Hoboken which is this giant jewel and it's from season 5 episode 9 Napoleon Bonafrog Colossus of the Swamps in which Shredder gives it to the crime boss Big Louie for some antifreeze but it turns out it's just glass and not a real diamond or jewel. So we get that big giant jewel as well. And we have more accessories that can go with old characters. So first we get a head for Baxter Stockman where he's wearing Shredder's helmet. So this is pretty cool. And of course we have our Baxter Stockman. We can try and switch this head out on. So I can't get the head fully on. I'd probably have to heat it up. But there's the best I can get it on there. So it's cool that he at least has the head that we can put on it. And then we also get a turtle tracker as well. So we have this device probably used by Baxter as well. I think it was used in an episode by him to track the turtles. So I was going to put it in his other hand, but he doesn't have a grip pan because we have this other tracker in him already. But we get this device as well. Again, a turtle tracker. So just a nice contraption device. Again, used by Baxter Stockman. One thing that I find really cool is we find
finally get the helmet piece for Rocksteady so we can bring in Rocksteady here and put the helmet on his head so we finally get this helmet. It was always weird that they didn't give it to us from the beginning but now this finally came with it so we can finally give him the military helmet. So now Rocksteady finally feels complete there with that helmet on his head so that is awesome. And finally our last little accessories are we get another Mauser so of course we've had Mauser before so just another Mauser to add so cool we've already got those packs that came with multiple Mausers so now we have another one and then finally we get pizza monsters so we get two little pizza monsters like crawling pizza monsters that of course they always look like little xenomorphs from the alien series but in orange color so we get two little ones there to go along with all the others we already have so pretty awesome for this accessory set like it's cool we get a lot of stuff like I love like the little baby turtles like the TV especially getting Big Mac was awesome then all those other accessories that we can you know, use to fill out the sewer if we ever get it and I forgot to show with the baby Turtles, we also brought in Baby Shredder so he can go along with them as well because I thought that'd be fun. But yeah, I really enjoy this accessory set. Like, it's cool to get stuff, like, especially like the Rocksteady helmet and getting that extra head for Baxter was really cool. And then, like I said, just other fun little accessories to go with different characters. So the accessory set was cool once again to get. Well, that's it for this video where we looked at the Evil Rex one as well as the TMNT cartoon accessory pack. So pretty cool for both. I really like the Rex one. I enjoyed Rex one. So getting the Evil version is nice as well. So nice counterpart to fight against them. And then getting all the cool accessories to go with that accessory set is awesome as well. Well, let me know what you thought of these down in the comments. And if you enjoyed my review, let me know with a like on the video. And don't forget to hit subscribe to see more of our reviews. But I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all stay awesome out there and I'll see you in the next review. Thank you.